The surveillance on the bridge was covert. I remember sitting in the car, the radio squelch broke, and I heard something about a splash. It was three in the morning. They looked up on the bridge and they can see headlights. They had pulled someone over. I said, do you know why we pulled you over? And he goes, yeah, it's got something to do with those missing kids. July 29, 1979, police find the badly decomposed bodies of two teenagers. Next thing you know, another body. It didn't become the story it should have been until there were nine young people who were dead. Black children were missing. They've been missing since. Missing. 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 OK, now this, this is going to get bad. The killings accelerated in pace. Kids are disappearing once a month. Maynard Jackson he went up to the White House and said, I want every living FBI agent on the planet in Atlanta. It had to be somebody the kids knew and trusted. He was the connection. Who is this guy, Wayne Williams? We found the killer, and that's it. But that really wasn't it. You had people saying that this has to be the Klan, or this has to be some crooked cop, but nobody really knew anything. They didn't follow those leads. They chose Wayne. This could have turned into a riot because people were that angry. Elected officials did not want this case to go on. The families never had any closure. We have begun going through evidence to see if there's anything that was never tested. We have an obligation to ensure that every investigative lead was followed. I want to know who killed Curtis. I'm not going to stop because I'm a warrior. This vulnerability that at any moment you could be stolen. We come from stolen people. That's deep in our psyche. Do what should have been done. Solve the cases. It's one of those memories you have of Atlanta. You really wish you didn't have it.